Hello students, welcome to the lecture series of fluid mechanics. Myself, Professor Dhruv Patel. In our today's lecture, we will learn about hydraulic turbine topic. In that, in today's lecture, we will cover Pelton wheel turbine and basic hydroelectric power plant. Right? So, first of all, what do you mean by hydraulic machines? So, hydraulic machines are the any type of machine which will convert hydraulic energy to the mechanical energy or we can say mechanical energy to the hydraulic energy. So if we look at the classification, there will be two classification of hydraulic machines. First one is hydraulic turbine. So in the hydraulic turbine, hydraulic energy, hydraulic energy will be converted into mechanical energy. And second one is hydraulic pump in which mechanical energy is converted into hydraulic energy clear students so there will be two classification of hydraulic machines first of all we have to learn hydraulic turbine so in hydraulic turbine we can obtain power from the water clear so let us start our first theory general layout of hydroelectric power plant so what do you mean by power plant so power plant is the place where the energy or where we can say power is generated right and hydroelectric power plant that means with the use of water they can generate power that is known as hydroelectric power plant clear students so let us understand basic sketch of the hydroelectric power plant so as shown in this sketch one dam is shown in the one side of the dam some water is filled clear with the use of pen stroke so what do you mean by pen stroke so pen stroke is generally a large diameter pipe which is used to, to transfer water from the dam to the turbine clear so from the pen stroke water is transferring to the turbine here one turbine is located it is considered as a basic turbine some blades of turbines are there here nozzle is attached at the end of the pen stroke because purpose of the nozzle or shape of the nozzle is like this so if we done analysis of it area is reduced so velocity got increasing right because AV is equal to constant so area is reduced so velocity is increasing so we can apply water with higher velocity so here nozzle is attached at the end of the pen stroke clear students so let us see one animation of the hydroelectric power plant how the power is generated from the hydroelectric power plant so here one dam is here with the use of pen stroke water is moving in this direction and apply to the blades on a turbine right at the outer section of the turbine one drop tube is attached in the first chapter of the vapor pressure and cavitation i have already explained why the one drop tube is attached at the outer section of the turbine because at the outer section pressure got reduced so for removing effect of vapor pressure and cavitation we have to attach drop tube at the outer section of the turbine clear students so with the water turbine blades are rotating and we can obtain shaft power at the outlet of the turbine so that way we can generate electricity by hydroelectric power clear students now let us understand basic terminologies of it first one is dam so dam is basically a concrete side structure here it is as shown in sketch second one is pen stroke i as i have discussed earlier a large diameter pipe which is used for transferring water to the turbine from the dam that is known as pen stroke right next one is head race the head race is the level of water when the no water is flowing that means at the left hand side of the dam when the water is not flowing that level is known as head race right we have to measure head race distance from the ground level tail race tail race that means the height of the water after the turbine that is known as tail race clear students next one is gross head so as shown in this sketch gross head so gross head is the difference between head race and tail race when the water is in steady condition right here water is in steady condition is the key word remember student for the gross head water must be in the steady condition next one is our friction head so whenever the water is flowing in the pen stroke right due to friction losses some losses will be there that is known as friction head according to equation of friction losses hf will be 4 fl v square divided by 2g d so as shown in this sketch first of all water level is this whenever the water is flowing in the pipe 
some head is reduced like this this is known as due to friction losses h dear students next one is net head h net net head means at the inlet of turbine what is effective height available for turbine or what is effective head available for turbine that means it is difference of a gross head to the friction head at the inlet section of the turbine right we can say net head is equal to effective head also clear students so let us understand basic various heads and basic various efficiency regarding to turbines so according to hydraulic turbine our input will be water right or water power so we can say water or water power that is known as hydraulic power from the hydraulic power water is applied to the turbine runner and at the turbine outer side water and at the turbine outer side shaft power is obtained from the turbine right so it is construction of the hydraulic turbine first one is water water is applied to the runner or turbine and after that we will get shaft power or we can say brake power also right so left hand side of this assembly that is known as hydraulic side and right hand side of this assembly that is known as mechanical side clear students so now first of all hydraulic efficiency so efficiency is basically output by input right for the hydraulic section here output will be runner power and input will be water power clear students so hydraulic efficiency means runner power to the water power next is mechanical efficiency mechanical efficiency that means in the mechanical side look at the right side of the turbine at that time output will be shaft power and input will be runner power so that will be shaft power to the runner power clear students next will be overall efficiency overall efficiency that means we have to take consideration of all over turbine part so outer so output will be shaft power and input will be water power so shaft power divided by water power that means sp divided by wp if we divide and multiply whole equation by runner power then here shaft power divided by water power remains as it is next one is runner power divided by runner power let us rearrange this equation so shaft power divided by runner power into runner power divided by water power so basically mechanical efficiency is shaft power by runner power that means we can write mechanical efficiency here and instead of runner power divided by water power we can write hydraulic efficiency so from this derivation overall efficiency that means mechanical efficiency into hydraulic efficiency clear students next one is volumetric efficiency so what do you mean by volumetric efficiency this is practical concept so volumetric efficiency that means volume of water actually striking to the runner divided by volume of water supplied to the turbine clear students here we have to remember water power that means in the hydroelectric power plant water is always available at some head so some potential energy will be there that means water power that means rho q g h that is known as water power we can say divide by 1000 so we can find water power in watt right so remember this equation rho q g h divided by 1000 in watt so let us revise our concept first of all hydraulic machines so there will be two types of hydraulic machines one will be hydraulic turbine and second one will be hydraulic pump hydraulic machines will be convert hydraulic energy to the mechanical energy or mechanical energy to the hydraulic energy so there is two types first one is hydraulic turbine for turbine hydraulic energy will be converted into mechanical energy right and for the hydraulic pump mechanical energy will be converted into hydraulic energy clear students after that we have seen general layout of hydroelectric power plant this is basic concept regarding fluid power engineering right so how the hydroelectric power plant works so first one is dam is there at the one side of dam some water will be there in steady condition with the use of pen stroke that means with the use of large diameter pipe water is flowing to the turbine with the help of pen stroke one nozzle is attached at the end section of the pen stroke for increasing velocity so we can apply water with the high kinetic energy clear students at the turbine inlet level of the water that will be a head race at the turbine outlet level of the water that will be a tail race then after we have seen schematic layout or animation of the hydroelectric power plant after that we understood what do you mean by head race what do you mean by tail race and then gross head so what do you mean by gross head it is the difference between head race 
and tail race when the water is in the steady condition that means at the initial section here clear what do you mean by friction here that is simple losses due to friction in the fan stroke that will be hf is equal to 4 fl v square divided by 2g d at the last net head net head that means at the inlet section of the turbine see here at the inlet section of the turbine difference between head race and tail race that is known as net head clear we can also say head net head is equal to effective head clear students right remember this next one we have understood basic layout of the turbine assembly at the inlet section of the turbine water power will be there right we can say wp water power is applied to the runner or we can say runner power at the outlet side mechanical that means sub power right so left hand side will be considered as hydraulic side and right hand side will be considered as mechanical side so first of all we have derived equation for hydraulic efficiency so hydraulic efficiency that means let us take concentration in this side only so output by input at the output there will be a runner power and at the input there will be a water power similar way for the mechanical efficiency here let us take consideration right hand side so mechanical efficiency that out, output side is short power and input side is runner power overall efficiency that means overall assembly of the turbine that means soft power divided by water power we have to multiply and divide by runner power after rearranging we got overall efficiency that means mechanical efficiency into hydraulic efficiency right last one is volumetric efficiency that means volume of the water actually striking to the runner divided by volume of the water supplied to the turbine clear students so that is it from the today's point of view thank you for watching my lecture and keep revising fluid mechanics